What's going on? I want you to really think about something today. There's doing what's required. There's doing your best. And then there's doing what's necessary. All of these things are different. Now, how are they different? When you do what's required, the bar may be set so low, it's really easy to do what's required. Then there's doing your best, which may be above the bar, or it may be below the bar. Now, the final one is the most important one. It's the one with the most power. It's the one that will change your world, change your life doing what's necessary. I reached a point in my life where my best wasn't good enough. It just was not good enough. The bar was here and my best was here. And slowly but surely, I got there. And what I'm telling you is when you're saying you're doing your best, you may be shortchanging yourself. When you're saying that, hey, uh, this, this is it. This is, I'm doing the best. I'm making, no, you're not. Because I want you to do this exercise. I want you to put your back against the wall and see what happens. When your back's against the wall, certain things are eliminated. Distractions, the things that are not important, all that goes away. When you're doing your best, and you still have this framework of other things that are in your way or creating drag, so to speak, you can't perform as well as you should. Now, how does this factor in into hustling and making money and business? Typically, you are moving at 10 to 20% effectiveness because you're, you're doing your best, you're doing what's required. Now, to stretch yourself that other 80 percent is going to require a level of commitment tenacity something that you're currently not doing you have to tap into that inner thing that inner that special place whatever your xanadu your dragon ball z whatever it is for you you have to tap into it because when you start doing what's necessary, not your best, not fulfilling requirements, but when you start doing what's necessary, you'll see your life change. You'll see your business grow. I was talking to someone this weekend who did what was necessary. And this is a beautiful story. He left California. He didn't know what he was going to do. He knew he didn't want to end up like his friends. He wanted to go to Australia. Had no money, didn't even have a passport, but he wanted to go down there. He sold everything he had. Everything. He did what was necessary. Got himself a first class ticket. He said, hey, first class one way. Got to Australia. Made a few contacts before he got there. Went through the visa and all this other stuff. Got a job. And now he has a business in Australia. He didn't do his best. He didn't do just bare requirements. He did what was necessary to make the dream happen. When you say you're chasing a dream, you're trying to do something, but your cable, your cell phone, the iPhone 6, your car, all of this other stuff is more important than your dream, you're bullshitting yourself. You're seriously bullshitting yourself. Part of my journey, and I, I talk to myself as I talk to you, I had to, if you can tell, everything's different now. New background, new look, new message, new philosophy, because for a long time, I was doing what was required and I was doing my best, but I wasn't doing what was necessary to make this channel better. Pretty much coasted and I worked a lot of hours and produced a lot of videos, but once again, you know, you're down here at 20%. To crank it up to that 80%, you see magic happen. You see wonderful new outcomes that happens. 
So as we go forward on this journey, you and I, you're going to see me do what's necessary. I had, quote, a personal issue. I'm not going to go into detail. I talked to several people and I said, this is my intention. This is what I want out of this. This is what I want done. Everyone said, you can't do it. Doesn't happen. Took me 14 months of doing what was necessary. Even when it looked like I was losing, I kept showing up. I kept representing. I kept pushing. And then one day, opportunity went, eh, the door opened that much. It opened just a little bit. And I jumped in that sucker. And I got what I wanted. Because I did what was necessary. As we go on this journey, you've got to do what's necessary. Not exactly your best because we are in a different world. Competition isn't really the problem. Status quo is the problem. What Bill is doing, what Jill is doing, what Lamar is doing, what Shanique was doing, that is your template. That's your benchmark based on what they're doing versus saying, this is me. This is what I want. And the bar is like in the stratosphere. But you know what? I'm worth it. And I'm going to make that happen. The Hustler Mindset Project is really about tapping into doing what's necessary. And the big, big part about that is changing your mindset, which I thought was easy. I really underestimated how that was going to happen. I really didn't look at how hard that was going to be because I looked at it from a very myopic place of my experience. And when I look back, and if I'm honest, my mindset change happened over years. It wasn't like one day and it was just, oh, I have a different mindset. No, it was experience. It was feedback. It was wins. It was losses. Then I developed this hustling mindset, which is to exploit opportunity as it is not how you hope it to be and that's where i have this saying don't hate the game don't hate the player learn the fucking rules so you can win because inside our society we have many quote unwritten rules and you're playing by one tenth of the rule book or you may be playing by the rule book that you think is in place when you are ignoring the unwritten rule book, which is more powerful and has more impact on your life. We're going to learn a lot here. And part of this new thing is the Hustler Mindset User's Manual. Something I came up with for the new client. I've been thinking about doing it and it hit me. You have a user's manual for your blender. You have a user's manual for your car. Why not a user's manual for the Hustler Mindset? And that stuff will start dropping this week. If you're a member of the Hustle Mindset Project, you get all that. Plus, I'm going to have some other options for those of you who want to participate. This is going to be a very different course. It's going to be very different content. It's going to, you're going to see and hear things you've never heard before. Some of it's going to shock the shit out of you. But once again, it's effective. The things that I bring to you are things that I use to get the outcomes out in life that I want. It's hard to explain because once I started writing the user manual and I started looking, I said, oh, this makes more sense. This is going to be easily to digest. This is going to help people way more. If you haven't gotten it, disruptive mating is going to be, that's, that's like part of it because I, ha I hack dating. I hacked my dating life. I automated my dating life. My friends were like, how the hell do you do that? And it took me about three years of continuous effort to figure it out. Because if you're an entrepreneur, the best use of your time is not out in some bar chasing someone when you could be working on your business. Your business is what is your passport to freedom, not hanging out in the bar. That's fun to do and it's important, but your business should be goal number one. Then your family, yes, see this is the thing, and this is one of the things that you're gonna get in the Hustler Mindset User's Manual. 
how we're going to correctly identify behavior. If you say your family is the most important thing in the world, but you don't spend no time with them, you don't hang out with them, you don't know who they are, you're bullshitting yourself. And many people's like, hey, the family is this. And they don't, know, they don't know their wife. They don't know their husband. They don't know their kids. They have no clue to who these people are because they don't spend any time with them. Where you spend your time is where your interest lies. We're going to be very honest. We're going to kill a lot of sacred cows. There's going to be some ruckus. There's going to be some mayhem. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of drama. But that's part of it because you cannot change your mindset unless you break your current one. Many of the things and many of the guys who bought disruptive mating are like one guy even said the section four or five, I believe, was worth the price of the book alone, which is how to identify someone worth a long term commitment. And I'll jump into it. Disruptive mating isn't about macking and going out and getting all this ass. Part of disruptive mating is for their guys who want to meet a woman, get married, and have kids. It's a beautiful thing. But the problem is when you meet the wrong woman and do this, your life is a nightmare. I have a way that helps you. It's not 100% foolproof. I'm not going to give you that. Uh, this, no. But it gives you an 80 to 90% better chance of success. Much better than the 10% chance you have just... Rolling the pussy dice and going, ha, huh, this may work out. Many men, many, many a man has said that and has like, damn, that didn't work out. The Hustler Mindset User's Manual. How to use your mind, how to create daily rituals. There's a lot to this. There's a lot to it because when I created the Hustler Mindset Project in 2012, I wanted to jump into that. But I didn't know how to talk to you, how to really reach you to say the mindset is the most critical because I said it, but you, you didn't hear me because you was like, I'm about that money. Tell me about Craigslist. Tell me about how to make money on YouTube. Tell me how to make that money. And essentially, once I help you adjust your mindset, the money is an automatic byproduct of the new mindset, but the development of the new mindset is a hard task. That's the problem. It's not a 30 day fix. It's not a plug it, set it and forget it type deal. It's consistent grooming, which goes back to how I have to be better for you. New things that are happening, deeper, more intensive coaching because I looked at the numbers, maybe 20% of the people who could buy a course and just run away and be crazy with it. Other people need more hands-on mentoring, more conversations, more talking. More. And that's what's coming. Because for you to be the best version of you, you need help just like I needed help. My help was Earl Nightingale, Tony Robbins, a dude by the name of Sarkis Arminian. There was, I have, when I look back, as I develop myself and push myself, mentors just like, bam, I met Sarkis because I was selling gold on eBay. If I didn't push myself to sell gold on eBay, I never would have met this guy in 2002. That's the process of experimentation, of pushing, pushing forward, hacking, moving, activity. Action is the greatest truth there is. I don't care what anyone says. Your intentions, your thoughts, your good wishes is bullshit without action. So there's a lot of action with the Hustler's Mindset User's Manual. Many, many things are coming to you on this channel. Like I said, there's certain things I'm no longer going to talk about. There's certain things I'm not going to do. If you have a hangout or something and you're talking about something that is not with personal improvement, business formation, making yourself better, efficiency hacks, we are incongruent. Just, just not going to work out. It's like, no, no. And that's another thing about doing what's necessary. That's a hard decision because some people have hurt feelings and thought, well, you know, you just think you're better. No, that's not it at all. I'm doing what's necessary to be better for you. And that means saying no. And that means we can't do that anymore. And no, you can't have any milk and cookies. No, 
You can't. Because we have to be busy here. We have to be about the hard work of personal development, business development, and pushing forward. Because we're in very crazy, wonderful, exciting times. I mean, amazing stuff is, is, is right here at your fingertips. But if you look at it with the wrong mindset, you missed the opportunity. I had a situation today that if I was looking at it from my loser mindset, I would have been like, oh, that didn't go my way. But since I was looking at it with my abundant mindset, I was picking all kind of jewels out of the experience. I was like, wow, that was good, and that was good, and that was good. Oh man, I learned so much. You got to learn how to embrace experiences and leave yourself open to outcomes versus having certain outcomes. Now that sounds a little incongruent because I'm saying set goals and push forward. But I will explain that. You start here and you want to end up here. If you can learn to let go of this stuff in the middle, you'll get here. But if you want to control this, 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 that, that's so hard. Sometimes that mistake is the way you should go. But if you are so wedded to the outcome, and not so much the outcome, but wedded to how the outcome unfolds, like some women date, he must be six feet tall, he must have come from an Ivy League school, he must be close to his mother, he can't have kids, and he's never visited Turkey, and he doesn't smoke, and he doesn't like redheads. You have people who have these crazy, ridiculous requirements and wonder why the fuck they're single. That doesn't only happen with dating. Same thing with your business. Same thing with your personal relationships. So, This is, once again, the Hustler Mindset User's Manual. Also, we're going to have fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to laugh. You're going to trip out. You're going to be like, damn, I had no clue that this was part of this. Because there's a lot of fun parts. You're going to work hard. You're going to play hard. But you're going to enjoy yourself. And for those of you who are still here at this section of the video, I'm going to leave a little something special for you so you can get in on the action. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you in the next session.